We are here with the victorious PacWest champions, Concordia Golden Eagles. 2 to nothing win over Azusa Pacific in the title game here on Friday. Head coach Crystal Rosenthal, why don't you introduce your players here of the victorious team and give us your thoughts on winning the title here. The first one, the PacWest 2023 championships. Yeah, on my left, I have Shelby Feiler. On my right, I have Kelly Nunes and Jocelyn Pino. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank Biola for hosting a great tournament for the PacWest um, and all the support that got us to this place of having a softball tournament. Um, it's an awesome opportunity for our student athletes to get a chance to compete um, for a championship. I thought it was a good day. Um, I know Azusa probably a little bit tired. Uh, yesterday in game two is a big win. Whoever wins game two, it's a big momentum shift. Uh, Cali came out and threw fantastic vintage classic Cali. Um, and we just, we play well all week, so I'm proud of my kids. Um, I'm proud that we came here and did something with the opportunity and just really awesome to have a chance to do this. Shelby, you were voted the most outstanding player in the tournament, some big hits along the way. You hit nearly 500 for the tournament. Just your thoughts about winning that award and winning the title. Well, um, it was, I'm very thankful for winning that award. I thank my team most of all. They helped me get where I'm at, and they push me to be better every day. So I think they helped me hit how as I do this tournament. Callie, it was kind of a nostalgic moment to see you out there in the pitching circle, and you came out there. Did you have any nerves at all? It looked like uh, you got over them really quickly because in five innings, only one hit, seven strikeouts. You were just totally dominant and winning the Most Outstanding Pitcher Award for the tournament. Thank you. Uh, I had a little bit of nerves, but as you said, it I got over them pretty quickly. Um, once I get back in the circle, it's you know it's like riding a bike, so it's just getting back on that horse and on that donkey, um, <laughs> and just going with it. So that's what we did today. And Jocelyn, wow, you've got to be so proud of this team. What a what an effort here! Uh, a dominant performance, winning three of the games here. This this one was not as lopsided of a win, but a big win for the Golden Eagles. Yeah, I think everyone was working hard, and we just did one bat at a time, and uh, we couldn't have scored runs if uh, everyone wouldn't get on base. So they got on base, they worked hard, they worked through their at-bats, and we ended up scoring runs and winning. Crystal, your thoughts? Uh, you win the regular season title, you win the championship of the conference tournament. It appears that you will be on your way to the regionals, most likely as a host team. Everything coming together right now for you. Yeah, I think we didn't have a great start to our season, um, by our standards at least. We weren't playing well. Um, we took a little different approach. We've got a ton of pitching, obviously, and some that's awesome. And it's also, I just told them, it takes great sacrifice for people to be willing to, to pitch less, um, to give more to our team. And that's kind of been the culture of this group. So we're going to work on um, having a really awesome day of graduation for seven seniors tomorrow. And then we'll worry about next week, but we're really grateful just to celebrate today. I'm not great at that, so I let them actually encourage them to, to come on out of the dugout today. Uh, these are hard to get. This was a really difficult season for us to just continue doing what we did. So I'm proud of them. I hope they enjoy it, graduate tomorrow, um, and then we'll get back to work on Monday. Congratulations. You earned that trophy. Thank, Thank you. you.